Welcome to the FX Masterclass, and my name is Ernest Rowe. This video, we're going to cover how to install your FX barrel tensioner. All right, let's get started. All right, first, we're going to take the scope rail off. I'm going to remove the shroud. Move the barrel. Now we're going to remove these two screws here. That's where the clamp's going to be installed. And this we're just going to loosen. Maybe you get lucky, remove the screws, so we could remove it. There you go. That's what we're going to replace. The barrel support with a clamp. All right. Remember, push it forward and square, tie it down. Well, that, we didn't loosen that, but we'll take it away. All right, now we're gonna put your barrel in place. There you go. Now, you need to tighten down your barrel, attach the screw, flip it to the side. Let's remove this real quick. So you can see. All right, the shoulder, the screws here. We're going to butt it down. We're going to torque it, but get the shoulder touching this flange here, get the slack off of it. We're going to torque this down a 20 inch pound. I'm just curious how much revolution The screw turns before we get when we get 20 inch pound. So you get a reference if you don't have a torque wrench. And we tie it down equally, a half a turn. Keep going back and forth. See it slip. All right, look like we went uh, like a three quarter revolution. Support. All right, it's carbon fiber sleeve slides in. On his clamp, there's a little like one mil lip here. It has to go like that. Then your jam nut. You want to hand tight this and we're going to mark it. You want to turn this jam nut quarter turn. All 
use any kind of rod or allen that fits through here and continue to torque it down. Now, the maximum is a quarter turn, but if it's really tight, you don't need a goalie down a quarter turn. All right, seems to me right there is tight because each barrel system has a different tolerance. You don't have to go three quarter. This one is like, uh, no, like two o'clock and it's pretty tight. And there you go. Now you just gotta install your silencer. And it's really rigid. All right, now continue put the scope rail on. All right. And that's how you install your barrel tensioner.